Hi, welcome to the short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan. I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView and Overview and all preceding videos to better prepare you for the topics presented here. It's important to remember that security in ClickView is applied through a combination of document level and server level approaches. In this short video, I want to discuss implementing document feature security in ClickView. In previous videos, we've been looking at row and field level data security using section access. But we can also use section access to apply document feature security on any particular file in ClickView. So right now in this particular application, I'm logged in as an admin. So I have full privileges within ClickView. I can go to my document properties and when I select the security tab, you'll see that I can now apply various privilege to someone that we would consider a standard user. That is somebody who doesn't have admin privileges, somebody who is just simply a user of this application. And I as the admin can select various different elements here that I can permit or not permit a user to use when they open up the application in ClickView. So for example, I can make sure that the user cannot reload a document, that they cannot perform any data reduction, that they can't make any edits to the script, that they can't add new sheets, for example, and so on and so forth. And really what this gives me is a lot of control over what my user community can or cannot do at a document level within ClickView. It's very useful for an admin to have this level of control over who can do what. How this then works in conjunction with section access is seen here. When I enter my section access hidden script, you'll see that I have individuals who are denoted as having user privileges. And so when somebody is denoted as a user, then all of those restrictions at the document level will apply when they open the application. So for example, if I was to close down ClickView and open up again as one of those users, you'll see what I mean. So again, I'm going to log in as user J Air, And you'll see that certain icons are grayed out. So for example, I cannot edit the script. When I open up the Document Properties tab, I've got a reduced set of tabs that I can access. So that Security tab is removed, obviously. And I can't reload and so forth. So as a standard user, now I have restrictions not just at the data level, but also at the application or document level that I am restricted to. What you've just seen is a short video looking at document feature security in ClickView. This video is part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView, and I encourage you to view the other videos in the series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView. Thank you.